Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Cilletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.3 from the chapter number 5. Okay, the problem is so that the characteristic equation for the complement output of a JK flip flop is this one. Okay, that means the complemented output Q complement of T plus 1. That is the next step complement output is equal to this equation. Let us solve this problem. So we know that the characteristic equation of a JK flip-flop is Q of T plus 1 is JQ bar plus K bar Q. So from this equation, we will try to find out this complement output equation. Okay, now let us make the characteristic table. So we will have the inputs J and K, Q of T and Q of T plus 1. Then we will have the Q complement of T plus 1 okay so for three inputs okay because this next state output is the function of a present state output okay this q is nothing but this q of t okay so let us write down the combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 okay 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay now let us find out the Q of t plus 1 using this equation using this given equation okay because we know that the characteristic equation of a jk flip flop is this one q of t plus 1 is j q complement plus k complement q so 0 0 0 so j q complement j into q complement is 0 okay and k bar is 1 and q is 0 so it will be 0 next we have j q complement j q complement is 0 and k bar q is 1 okay so it will be 1 next we have j q complement is 0 and k bar q is 0 then we have this one 0 1 1 so j q complement is 0 and k bar q is 0 because q is 1 and k bar will be 0 okay so it will be 0 next we have 1 0 0 so j q complement j into q complement will be 1 Okay, so if any one of this term is 1, so output will be 1. Okay, then we have 1, 0, 1, j, q complement is 0 and k bar, q is 1. Then we have 1, 1, 0, j, q complement is 1. Okay, then we have j, q complement is 0 because q complement will be 0 and k bar will be 0 here again, so it will be 0. Okay, now this is the Q of T plus 1 complement is the complement of this Q of T plus 1. Okay, so this function, uh, this function is the complement of this next step output. Okay, so we can directly write the opposite of 0 and 1. So if we have 0, we'll write 1. And if we have 1, we'll write 0, 1, 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, now we will make the k map for q complement of t plus 1. Okay, so k map for q complement of t plus 1. Okay, now let us make this k map. So we have three variables. j, k, q. Okay, these are the three variables. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is similar to the previous cases, 0 and 1. Okay, now let us put these values. 1, 0, 1, 1. So we'll have 1, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so how we can combine? So this will be one combination and this will be the second combination. Okay, so Q complement of T plus 1 is equal to, so from this term we will get it is KQ, KQ plus from this term we will get it is J bar, J bar and from these two column we will get it is Q bar, Q bar, okay. So J bar Q bar plus KQ, J bar Q bar plus KQ. So we have obtained this function j bar q bar plus kq. So we can rewrite it as j bar q bar plus kq. Okay, so this is the complement function. 
okay so this is the solution of the problem number 5.3 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you